A lot of stories have been brought to our notice for some time now and I keep sharing stories here, I keep sharing videos, information about our uh, African people that are coming into the UK and some of them that are you know relocating to other parts of Europe, other parts of the world and sometimes some, some of you will say why do you keep bringing stories like this here blah 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 I'm just here to educate people, I'm here to create awareness so that those of you that are still back in Africa and you are planning, you are preparing to come to the UK or to relocate to other European countries, you will have at least an idea about um, how it is to relocate from Nigeria, from Ghana, from Cameroon, Togo, to UK or other European countries. You will know exactly, even if you don't know exactly, you will have some idea of what you will be expecting as soon as you arrive. So that is what I do here on this platform. Anyways, today's video, I will be um, sharing my screen with one of our sisters, our Nigeria sisters, sister who is based here in United Kingdom. She's also into content like this. So I came across this video and I was really touched because a lot of people, a lot of Nigerians have been crying recently in the UK. Couples, you know, quarreling, having misunderstanding. Oh, I didn't want to relocate at first. You said we should relocate. Now look at what we are facing. A Nigeria couple, um, the woman actually lamented. She lamented about what she is passing through presently in the UK just really how can you relocate to uk you know see sometimes when people ask me in my whatsapp say um please i want to relocate with my family i always advise them let one person relocate first the person should go and see how the the country is if it's good if it's fine you can bring your family in but relocating with everybody five children wife husband at once it's not really a good idea. I'll let you watch the video from this, our sister, and then I'll see you at the ending part this of the video. I believe information is more important than money. Information is power. Somebody called me. I can call her a family friend, but we're not that close when I was in Nigeria. I didn't know this family has been for over six good months. They didn't tell me when they were coming. They didn't tell me. They know I make content, but they did not tell me. They did not call me. They've been in the UK for over six months. Do you know why they called me? The woman was crying. She was crying. She was in Nigeria. Doing not too bad, doing good, but averagely. They are not thinkingly rich, but they are average. This woman is the one that has their broad dream. So she was the one that pushed, I would not say pushed, encouraged the husband for them to travel to the UK. They did not tell me. They did not phone me. I'm not saying everybody should phone me, but I'm saying like, you know I'm in the UK. You know I make UK content. You know I talk about immigration. You know, it's not like I'm an immigration officer or anything, but I can advise you. They came to the UK with five children. Five ch young children. They came to study. The woman is the one studying. The man is the dependent. Why she called me was that. She said, Gloria, is it true? Gloria, is it true that she has to pay for post-study work visa after her studies? I'm like, of course. She said she didn't know. She was crying bitterly. The thing is, she said, they sold their house, of course sold their car, sold their property for them to be able to come to the UK on a study visa. They came, they borrowed money, like millions of money. Where this money went, the children's visas, the children's immigration health surcharge, their own visa, their immigration has such and the school fees deposits and the proof of fund, like the deposit. So that they are owing now, as they are speaking, they've been in the UK for over six months. They are owing the balance of the school fees. They are owing people in Nigeria and they keep calling them every day to pay them the money back. She was calling me because she wanted me to borrow her money. 
she was crying like i mean bitterly she was crying she said she regret coming to the uk that nobody told her i said no there's no way somebody did not tell you just that you will have seen be one of the people that will have said eh, it should be you you are there you are there let us come we will come we'll be all right that's it that's the reality but the fact that she did not know that she has to pay for post study work visa is actually surprising me she said she thought it was automatic it is not automatic for you to get post study work visa number one you have to have passed in your school the course you're coming to study you need to have passed it if you don't pass it you're not going to get post study work visa now she said she cannot even read she'll go to school she'll be crying in the lecture she has not even finished paying for her current school fees now that she now discovered that she has to pay for post-study work visa meaning she needs to pay for another immigration high school charge she needs to pay for the visa for all her children the husband is working full time but the money the man is making is not enough because they have to pay house rent she has five children she cannot just take her bag and decide to go to work somebody has to be at home to take care of the children the husband is working but the money is not enough to cover all the abuse now she's stranded she's looking for money people in nigeria are calling her because they believe that the moment she gets to the uk she'll be able to pay the money back before she found house she couldn't find accommodation for almost three months according to her so that was where some of the money also went because they were paying for hotels and b&b's and moving from one place to the other i mean information before you go to any country before you pick your bag research research if it takes you a whole month research about that country look at not just the advantages think about the disadvantages because people will come and tell you the advantage the uk is stable the, the pound is big i know you people will say shut up are you not there don't worry it's not better than nigeria but at the end of the day she said she swore that if she had known she would not leave nigeria because now her visa is going to finish because her school will finish soon she has not even got a job. Anywhere she goes, they'll say they don't want students. She has not worked since she came to the UK because they say they don't want students. Although the husband is working, but the money is not enough. Because they have five children. Do you know how many rooms you need for five children? And yourself, that's seven. And now, she has not even finished paying school fees. She has not even finished paying, paying the people that she owes in Nigeria. She has to now look for money now to pay apply for post study work visa by the grace of god if she pass apply for post study work visa pay immigration high school charge and continue the bills like that these are the reality this is the reality you will want to know the advantage but don't want to know the disadvantage and that is why someone like me is here i will tell you the truth you take it or you don't take it you leave it so that you don't come up and say nobody told me and then you'll be regretting this woman was crying she said for nights days she cannot sleep and it's building conflict between she and her husband because the husband said, look, I told you I don't want to go abroad. It's you that you will cry and cry all night. You will not sleep just because you want to travel. But now we are here now. Are you see? And what the man is telling her. It's sad. Very sad. In fact, my, I, mean, I was weak. My body weak. My body weak. And they cannot go back now because, you know, they've sold everything. They've moved on. Leave space for in case of emergency leave space for in case of emergency when i went to dubai my husband was back in nigeria he said go if it doesn't work you come back and at least you know that i'm here to support you when i was coming to the uk from dubai it was the same thing he did not want to join me he did not join me immediately he said go if it doesn't work somebody is here there is any money that can support you and my first one month even my house rent, my husband had to send it to me because i did not have it before they paid me my salary that is reality learn the country you're going to before you move it's not about i want to just jack by anything that happened there will be fine you think you think is it worth it i wish you good luck welcome back guys i hope you've watched the video you heard from our sister so these are some of the problems that most African couples are facing in the UK. They come in and then at the end of the day, there's no more money 
to pay for rent to even feed because some of them did not started working guys share this video let's create awareness so that people out there we have an idea of how it is down here in the uk and other part of the world especially for our africans that wants to relocate i'll see you guys in my next update i remain juan ekeke subscribe if you are yet to subscribe to my channel if you like what i do here and please share this video click on the like button it will go a long way i'll see you guys in my next video have a wonderful day bye